I want to welcome you to City Hall and to the observation deck up here on the top of City Hall on an unfortunately gloomy day in the great city of Richmond. But you all are providing the, the sunshine that we need here this morning. I want to start by saying happy Earth Day. Now, Earth Day is on Monday, April 22nd, but this is an anticipation of Earth Day. So you can go into the weekend the right way. So happy Earth Day, everyone. Uh, I will be remiss if I did not recognize some of my friends who joined me up here today. We are joined by Councilwoman Catherine Jordan, Councilwoman Nicole Jones, Councilman Andres Addison, uh, Laura Thomas is with us as well today, and April Bingham with the Department of Public Utilities is with us as well. Yeah, you should come up here. So Earth Day is a moment for us to celebrate. Celebrate God's gifts, the natural wonders that we have here in the great city of Richmond. And the reason we celebrate is because we know that we are blessed. Blessed to, to live in a city with the beautiful James River uh, running through it. Blessed with the amount of nature that our residents have access to. And Another reason to celebrate is to also recognize that these same gifts that we have been blessed with, I believe that generations and generations and generations after us should have access to those same gifts. Those gifts should be, should be accessible to every resident, no matter the color of their skin, how much money they have in their pocket, where they choose to live, they all should have access to these great wonders. And it takes a number of people to bring about this mission. Uh, we're joined by one of them, my good friend, uh, Laura Thomas, who's the, the Director of Sustainability here in the great city of Richmond. Give her a round of applause, everyone. You know, Laura has done a great job. She has helped change our mindset here in Richmond. And as you all know, in a city like ours, due south, south of the Mason-Dixon, uh, change does not come easy. Change can be a little difficult. But I will have to say she has been a change agent because she has shifted our mindset towards sustainability and what Richmond can be years and years down the line. And so I want to say to Laura, thank you so much. Thank you. And I must say, it's good to bring that some talent back home to Richmond as well. I'm glad you chose Richmond. We are making serious strides, and under Laura's leadership, I know she's going to be here for a long time, we have made uh, some major strides to becoming the greenest city on the East Coast. I'm also proud to be joined by members of City Council, and I have to at least highlight one member of City Council, the individual who has pushed us along the way. Uh, sometimes she's had to drag uh, the city, and that's my friend Catherine Jordan. You know, sometimes it takes individuals to be out ahead of the people. And sometimes those people uh, happen to be those that she works with, whether they're on city council, whether it's me, but you have led the way and your willingness to stick your neck out and ensure that we move in this direction. I have to thank you for that. Thank you so much, Catherine. <laughs> Collectively, the city council has remained a champion for implementing our shared goal of a greener, more equitable Richmond. And just look at the progress we've made over the past several years. In 2017, I first announced the creation of RVA Green 2050. And since then, the administration and city council have been working with the community to execute a robust, equity-centered climate action and resilience plan. And last year, City Council adopted RVA Green 2050, a move that creates new possibilities for the city of Richmond and puts racial equity, health, and resilience front and center right here in the city. And in my FY24 budget, I committed to ensuring 50% of the city's energy consumption was from new renewable energy sources. And I'm proud to say we achieved that goal last year.
But that's not all. This past year, we have also made some major progress. We have purchased 10 new electric vehicles to add to our city fleet. We adopted the Commercial Property Assessed Clean Energy Deceit Pace Program. We established our Neighborhood Climate Resilience Grant Program and received $6 billion from the U.S. Department of Agriculture for our urban forestry efforts. And I'm proud to say in my FY25 budget proposal, we remain steadfast in our commitment to fostering a resilient and environmentally responsible city. For instance, I have proposed adding $250,000 for the Neighborhood Climate Resilience Grant Program, which we established last year, focusing on citywide climate resiliency efforts. And I also want you to know I remain committed to fighting for Virginia's participation in Reggie, which has funded over $8.7 million in variety of flood-related projects throughout the city of Richmond. That's money that went to improving public safety and weatherization services in some of our most impacted households, ultimately lowering utility bills, making homes more comfortable for our residents. Shame on Governor Youngkin on uh, rejecting Reggie. Reggie should be the law. In addition to these investments, at the local level, the city of Richmond was one of the numerous different entities recently selected by the Department of Energy to receive a $500,000 grant. This funding will support a multi-jurisdictional planning effort to develop an energy savings action hub program to serve the greater Richmond area, another big deal. I'm proud to say that this was the only project awarded within the Commonwealth of Virginia, right here in the city of Richmond. <laughs> Folks, all of this progress helps us move Richmond towards a more sustainable and equitable future. We are riding past wrongs. We are paving the way forward in creating a city that we all can be proud of, not just here in 2024, but in 2034, in 2044, in 2054, in 2064. That is the, what we should be doing for our kids, our grandkids, and our great-grandkids. We are lucky, we are blessed to live within these 60 square miles. And we must remember that, not just on one day of the year, but 365 days of the year. And so I'm grateful for the support of our community and also the support of our partners in ensuring that we remain the greenest city on the East Coast. Now I would like to give way to my friend, the representative of the second uh, Councilmanic District, my good friend, Councilwoman Catherine Jordan. <laughs> you want to okay. okay, thank you so much, everyone. And you know, these days when we come out to celebrate one thing or another, are such a fun opportunity to lift up and celebrate um, our, our accomplishments. But we have been accomplishing green goals every day. We continue all year round. And it's with the help and partnership of the people I see out here in the audience and who maybe are watching or just doing the hard work in their community. So. I just want to say thank you to folks like Viridian, helping homeowners get their, their, um, their residents more green. I see Sierra Club here. I see Mothers Out Front. I know Third Act is doing good work probably right now. I see Parker. Your organization, the Conservancy, has done amazing work helping us protect our green spaces. But yeah, so thank you to everybody. Um, and I also want to thank Mayor Sony because we have to be able to work with the administration to achieve big ideas. And I've been watching his accomplishments on council before I got on council. I used to be on the Green City Commission. And he has been pushing green initiatives every step of the way. It's not always loud, it's not always in the news, but he has been a supportive partner and we would not be accomplishing what we have today without his strong leadership and his steadfast support. So please, let's all give him a round of thank you. 
And of course, those ideas don't happen without the funding. We're in budget season, so very excited to continue to be making progress on things like the newly established, as of last budget cycle, more independent Office of Sustainability. Laura Thomas is in her one year, one week anniversary, is that right? Year and a half anniversary, and she has done so much good work with her small but mighty, fierce team. If you're part of the Office of Sustainability, please raise your hand. I see you out there. <laughs> and it, it is a homecoming for Laura because she used to be at VCU. And of course, they are great partners for us, and we continue to look to them to help us move the city forward. Um, with that, thank you everyone who's been out here. Let's keep up the good work. We are making a difference. And I'd like to introduce Laura Thomas for some more remarks. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, Laura Thomas, Director of the Office of Sustainability. I am so glad to be here with you today and celebrate with you all our Earth Day every day. Um, we have been able to accomplish so much together, and I want to take an extra moment to say thank you to my team. So again, let's give a really big round of applause to these folks. <laughs> yeah. These are the people that every single day are in our office making a difference, doing the work to make the change happen, and it wouldn't be what we, we wouldn't be where we are without them. So I'm so grateful for all the hard work that they do. Um, so because of their work, we've been able to accomplish so many things in the last year and a half, two years since we've become an office. Uh, if you don't know, there are over 130 specific action items in RBA Green 2050. Uh, that's a lot of work for one small and mighty team. Uh, and we're happy to say that 12% of that plan, of those over 130 action items, have already been completed, and many more are well on their way. At the same time, we've been really focused on the Inflation Reduction Act, or the IRA, that offers over $300 billion in climate equity grants to communities, businesses, developers, and more. Um, we've been awarded well over $9 million in grants between ARPA and the IRA, and we're going to continue that commitment to making sure that the city of Richmond becomes the story of how the IRA can transform a community. And we're also committed to accountability and transparency. We heard you when we were in the planning process for RVA Green 2050 that those things are important. Um, so I'm happy to say that as we were staffing up our team, we made sure we had someone on our team to help hold us accountable to that and help with tracking, help with reporting on the progress of the plan. So I'm happy to say that today, we are launching our new website, so please go to rvagreen2050.com and check out our new reporting tool that will just continue to get better and more advanced. So, thank you. The last thing I'll say is I'd like to call out some of our other departments and partners here um, because sustainability is not just about our office. It is about the Department of Public Works, Department of Public Utilities, Parks and Rec, and really every department within the city. Um, and it really takes leadership from others in, in order to ensure that we achieve our goals. The Department of Public Works has hired the city's first urban forester who within the first few months of being here has already started crafting our first ever urban forest master plan. Our Department of Public Utilities, led by the amazing April Bingham. They continue to showcase sustainable and resilient infrastructure projects throughout our whole community um, and addressing some of our biggest flooding concerns in supporting RVA H2O. And our amazing Department of Parks and Recreation staff and leaders who not only ensured that we became a bee city, um, but that we're launching our parks master plan, uh, and that will help enhance our green space across all of our community. So I just wanna give one last round of applause to all of the teams in the city of Richmond as we work to, as the mayor says, uh, be the greenest city on the East Coast.
So thank you all again. I appreciate you being here on this almost Earth Day to celebrate, and I hope you go out this weekend, plant a tree, pick up litter, stay engaged in your community, and help support the great future that we all have together. You're here. Thank you. Enjoy the views. And enjoy the view. Thank you.